right, guys, thank you very much for joining us at Aussieverse. We are a little late with this video, but it's better late than never. I am Omnibo, joined by Grod Watson, joined by Sharif. Hey. Hello. <laughs> right, we are discussing the Marvel special event, Marvel's first special, no, second special event, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. You would want to interact with us. You want to have a chat. You want to give us ideas for shows. You want to just shoot the breeze. Hit us up at Instagram, Aussieverse underscore comics, where you can also check out our graphic design thumbnail creator, editor A51 underscore designs. Enough of the plug and let's get down to the loving guys. What did you think about the Guardians of the Galaxy special? Well, for me, it was just meh. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, if if you're one of those guys that, who who just oh yeah, it's all special. For me, it, it wasn't it wasn't so much of a special. No. Okay. Yeah, I, to go sort of similar off Sharif there, like it was just okay. But I'm watching this going, did we really need this? But I'm still happy it's out there. I still kind of enjoyed it, but. Would have wouldn't have mattered either way if it got released or not. Um, got a few laughs in there. A few of it just seemed very stale. Like they they it's like they got the script a week before, and they just sort of, <laughs> they just they just feel like they were going through the motions. Everything just felt predictable and yeah. But I I, I got a bit of a laugh out of it, a bit of a chuckle out of it. I'll tell you what, I think Kevin Bacon's like what seventy. 273. Jeez, he looks great. Wow, yeah. really? Yeah. Jeez, I wouldn't have picked that. Yeah. He's in his 70s, I'm pretty sure, so. Fair enough. Well, I feel like the tables have turned here because it's usually, I, I feel like it's usually me being a little bit of the negative one, but like you guys are the positive one, uh, ones. Um, I really dug this. Um, I thought it served its purpose 100%. It was never going to be awesome because it was only 45 minutes but for what it was meant to do i think it did it really well it um it advanced the storyline a little it had a musical number it had comedy um it had good acting it had great visuals um yeah if you're only going to make a 45 minute special to tie in with the rest of the mcu I, I don't think they could have done it any better. How how is this tying in into the MCU? How much because, of it is how much of it is because um yeah. so first of all the, the big the big um the manta uh, the, the sister to Peter now that got revealed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the second thing I was gonna say actually, but you're hundred yeah. percent right. That was it's funny how none of us viewers have ever actually put that connection and realised that. But, yep, that's out there. But one thing that I loved was was Groot's progression. I'm glad that he's not a baby Groot anymore. He's finally growing. He's gymmed out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like he's been baby Groot for years. Yeah. Okay. Um, Mark? Oh, I was going to say, I guess you're right. For 45 minutes, just for the special and stuff like that, I'll just... Just I, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I I still enjoyed it, but it just didn't. I was thinking, why are we getting this? Just give us a damn movie. <laughs> well, though, it, it, though, in saying that, uh, the the flashback, how uh, when they recounted um, Star Lord's uh, backstory on the celebration on his um, Christmas celebrations, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah. Yeah. I thought that was actually good. Actually, I forgot about that bit. The as, especially the the second half of it towards towards the end where uh, Peter explained. Oh, actually, there was there was more that happened, but no one else knew. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. that more well, I think um, progressed it uh, progressed gardens a little bit more in terms of. Uh, Yon, Yondu's and uh, Peter's relationship. Yep. Yeah. And I love the reveal. Not that it really matters in the scheme of things, but I love the reveal of you finally saw where he got his guns from, his blasters. They were a Christmas present from his daddy. Yeah. 
Yeah. That was, yeah. Yeah, there was a bit of when you when you do deep dive like take a deep dive into this, there was a few character progressions like this is the most we've ever sort of got out of Nanta as well, which I thought's interesting because you wouldn't get a bit this sort of screen time for Manta in, in the movie, would you? So no. So I thought I thought that was pretty good. Um and obviously Drax, a bit more Drax, obviously just helps with the tone of the movie because he's mainly just a comedy aspect now. No, I really hate that actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. But it's kind of the thing now, isn't it? It's what you expect. If we if we did a flip on it, it'd be like the opposite of what's happened to Thor right now, where Thor is a joke. And he was, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And Cosmo, like we've seen Cosmo the space dog before, but he's he's never spoken, right? Mm. <laughs> it it took me um to oh, shoot what's what's that um oh what's what's that um uh, Pixar movie up <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just met you and I love you <laughs> <laughs> squirrel <laughs> yeah so I reckon it served its purpose I mean you know yeah. people seem to love uh, werewolf by night as well. Uh, there's only so much you can put into 45 minutes. Yeah. Uh, so I welcome these specials, especially if the quality is is that good, and it is. The quality is just like a movie. Would have it got a better purpose if it just came out Christmas Eve? You reckon? It was a little early, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Didn't. Yeah, yeah. Because it was November, wasn't it? It came out. Yeah, yeah. I was. Yeah. I remember when it. When people were saying it's out, and I was surprised because I didn't realize it was already out, and it, I had to wait a day or two before I could actually watch it because I was busy. But yeah, I was expecting it to be out a, a week before Christmas, maybe. Yeah, mm. I think that would have been great time and put everybody in the mood. Everyone's yeah. just finishing work for the year or something and watch a bit of silly fun with Guardians of the Galaxy. I thought that would have did a bit more. Would have for me, but. Maybe what, I don't know. <laughs> was it, was there any news as to how they come to the decision to release it that at that time and and not closer to Christmas? Mm. No idea. <laughs> no idea. That's how the mar- that's how the Marvel things, Marvel Marvel things. Next year, there's a Guardians of the Galaxy Hanukkah special. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over the eight days. Is that how many days? <laughs> Man, imagine that. That'd be a long episode. Yeah. <laughs> so, no. uh, Anything else to talk about? What would what, you give it out of 10, Grod? I know you uh, love to make things. I, I, I'd still give it a good solid 10. Ah, uh, sorry, 7. <laughs> 7 out of 10. 7. Sharif. Uh, mm, 5, 5 and a half. Ooh. Okay, yeah, enough. I. Th- there were. I mean, to be fair, th- th- like God said, there were parts that I, uh, I liked. Uh, but overall, yeah. I'd have to agree with Grod. Seven. If it had less tracks, maybe eight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, um, the the part that I did enjoy uh, was when Drax and. Uh, was it Manta or Mantis? Um, Mantis. Mantis. Uh, Mantis. Ah, I'm I'm confusing my characters now. Um, <laughs> went to uh, Kevin Bacon's gate and <laughs> started ringing the bell and broke their way in. And shoot, and when she was hopping from wall to wall to pillar, <laughs> <it's> scary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess voice, we finally got. Her voice is kind of freaky, isn't it? Yeah, and I guess we got to see finally, like besides her go to sleep, we got to see her power set. Like she's yeah. just more than just go to sleep, like Sharif just said. We're I mean, like she's been in Endgame and Infinity War. We just haven't seen her well battle mm-hmm. besides yeah. put someone to sleep. That is true. That is true. Well, hopefully oh. now with um, Guardians Three, we'll 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 see more. Hmm. What do you yeah. think Rocket's going to do with the arm? <laughs> oh, that was great, wasn't it? Yes. Actually, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Good work for remembering that, Rod. Yeah, yeah. That was a good little throwback. I liked that. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, that was probably my favourite bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he he, he did ask it uh, politely. <laughs> he he got he down. <laughs> he didn't say how, but he was going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be a good one-shot episode, wouldn't it? How they ended up getting the Winter Soldier's arm. Yeah, so that just yeah. brings up a whole new storyline, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that'd never be like get it <laughs> behind the scenes. <laughs> 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 all right well thank you very much for joining us on this quick little video for the guardians of the galaxy holiday special marvel's second special uh if you are interested in knowing where to buy australian comics where to look up australian artists australian creators australian everything to do with comics please go check out comics one flat shipping rate is what will get you any amount of comics that you want for one flat shipping rate. And as usual, Aussieverse is for life. Good on you guys. <laughs> we'll catch you this show is sponsored by the Comics Shop. Check out comics.cx for all things comics and find out what comics is all about. We hope you enjoyed the show.